All right, guys. Welcome to uh, first episode of TMM Appliance Flips. Today, we're going to be discussing some appliances that I have purchased. So, as you guys know, I purchased uh, three appliances, and I'll put up the pictures. Uh, I paid $110, so... Uh, again, I began on a shoestring budget. Again, I do not mix my appliance repair business with my appliance repair sales business. They're two different entities, and as far as appliance repair sales, or I should say appliance sales, refurbished sales, uh, I want to start with no money so that I can help somebody that does not have any money and I can be honest with them and tell them how I did it. So I did have $110. I put a for this. I bought three appliances. I bought a dryer. It was a Frigidaire. Sold it for $150. That's this guy over here. Uh, after that, uh, I still got left with an Avanti mini fridge. You'll see me clean that up and we'll sell that today. And a Whirlpool washer. Uh, I'll get to inspecting it, but I won't do any cleaning and washing just for today. I'm only going to dedicate like an hour or two a week to this uh, venture. It's going to be a long marathon, but hey, ride with me. It gives the channel new content and, you know, it answers questions and we get to see this whole marathon together. All right. Uh, so I did sell the Frigidaire. Again, I sold it for $150. The member gave me... Let me add that in here. When when the member, um, let's add it here. When the member bought the dryer, the, which was the Frigidaire, she gave me her Amana dryer. Okay, now that one is broken, so we got to fix that. But it's very nice on the outside. And for that one, we're going to ask for 180 Okay. Uh, so again, we only sold $150, so that's all we got in the bank, okay? We already made a $40 profit, uh, and with those $40, we're just going to flip and purchase new appliances, okay? With that said, let's talk about now. I want to move into the next uh, clip here. I want to show you guys the actual inspection of the... All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh first episode of TMM Appliance Flips. Wanted to look at this uh, Avanti here that I have bought. I don't know if you guys remember me telling you it's part of like a little deal. It's pretty tall now. It's about uh, <clears throat> uh it's about I want to say five eight, five seven. It's not a mini. It's not a little under the counter like one of these guys here, under the counter unit. You know, one of these. In fact, it's a little bit taller one of these guys this is it's a nice unit but when I purchased it you know I didn't really inspect it inspect it so now I'm doing that and I'm looking at everything that got to be done to it these gaskets look like crap we are gonna fix that though inside uh, not too bad let's see what we got here All right, so it's not gonna win a beauty contest, but it does need some TLC. All right, we're gonna make it work though. Cause this guy here, my goal is, I'm gonna try to get it for 300. I'm gonna try to sell this guy for 300 bucks. So I'm gonna clean it up, show you guys a before. We'll show you guys kind of like an after. I don't see no real rust spots, which is excellent. That means I don't have to do no sanding or nothing, all right? All right, all right, let's see what we got, guys. Now, look at that, baby. Isn't she all polished up, huh? Look at that top. The only thing were the gaskets. I did, I was able to clean them down for most of the hard grind. But some of this stuff was just on there. So, uh, that's about as good as I can get it. But inside, though, I got that brand new. That baby looks brand new. Cleaned all up in the grooves. Where's my gaskets down? goes my doors uh now this i couldn't get it off 
But I'm not gonna give that too much, you know. But yeah, that back there need I could get off. Yeah. But this time that it's, it's used, but uh, you know. Hey. Hey. It works alright. It works good. And um you know it's not brand brand new, but uh it'll definitely do the job. Alright? So here's this one. Like I said, we're gonna try at 300. Maybe we get talked down. You know, we'll see what's up. But it looks like a good unit. Alright, so there y'all have it. Stand by as we get some other ones cleaned up. We'll go ahead and post this one here in a few minutes online and show you guys what we do for that. So one more time. Not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little flip. We're gonna do a the flip. Video here. of my posting. We'll see what kind of uh let's take a look at it so here when you open up the picture i put a little 90 day warranty you know hopefully they will find confidence in that you know let's see what else we did put my business name there too because you know people probably could look that up i wish mac didn't show up in the picture but uh you know mac put the inside of it you know people can look at it so i put about three i put about four picks you know again 300 bucks here's my description so uh you know we'll monitor this and this will hopefully uh like you know when you go fishing we'll cast this see if we get okay, some here's bites my second unit this is a whirlpool vertical module washer uh this one looks a little beat though it works it works but it beats i think what stands out to me the most is this big eyesore over here so what we're gonna have to do is see if we can sand this down oh shit what the fuck oh man the frame is busted oh boy this is bad let me see what we're gonna have to do here what we're gonna have to do oh boy this is bad well this one what we might do is sand it down i'm definitely not getting a new top that's for sure and i'm not gonna throw it away that's for sure that's horrible i hate these units i don't know why they always that's bleach all right a little bit of going on over here where else do we got rust all right let's see all right no no uh, all right so this one definitely oh a little bit of rust there in the corner oh boy a little bit here well we're gonna do our best wipe it down we'll do some sanding see how it looks give it a shot but uh this one's i may get this one off for like 150 due to this situation here but what we're gonna do is oh man this is bad look at this this is horrible i'm gonna sand it down painter and uh we'll see what's up inside of the tub looks like crap too some sort of centipede or whatever the hell that is. Yeah, this one looks like it's going to need a little bit of work. All right. Well, stand by as we uh, clean this right, one so up. We'll see what we get. For this washer, we're probably going to need a um, sander. So we got to dig into our budget. So, you know, we're starting on a shoestring budget here. So I'm going to go Harbor Freight. Got this little Chicago Electric. If somebody's ever used this, leave me a comment in the comment section. But... Four and a half stars, 13, 1,037 reviews. That's not too shabby. 35 bucks, okay? So uh, we're going to have to add this into our uh, budget here. All right, guys. If you're enjoying the content, please go over to tmmacademics.com and enroll into our monthly Patreon program where we can show you behind-the-scenes footage Enroll in our weekly courses and our peer-to-peer -peer walkie talkie app. Uh, TMMacademics.com. Comes up through here where it says to Yoder Loop and then where it says from Yoder Loop. So after it comes 
out of the Yoder loop, it goes to the filter drawer. Okay. Now the purpose of the filter drawer is to remove contaminants from the unit, to remove moisture from the unit, impurities. The, the final loop of the condenser we said was the Yoder loop, which passes through the bulkhead where the door gaskets sit. We said that after the condenser and the yoder, it enters the filter drawer, which the filter drawer's purpose is to remove impurities. There with me, guys, right there. We'll read these. We'll touch on these final things and call it a day. Okay. Let's talk about uh, environment. Okay. Refrigerators are intended to be used under normal household conditions. That is, they should be operated in temperatures that range between 55 degrees Fahrenheit to a maximum temperature of about 95 degrees Fahrenheit.